Hi there, Michelle Crafty Servings and my buddy Cash. Okay, I'm gonna show you the snowman similar that I'm gonna to make today, but it's gonna be a different shape, okay? I'll show you though, it, I mean, it's done the same way and I'll show you the pattern I used for that one too. It's a simple pattern, it's mostly circles, almost circles, all right? Um, so this is the one, the one that, look at, how, look at how cute he is, all right? This is a little bit smaller than the one it's going to be, but it's, it's going to be put together very similar, all right? And the pattern for this one I used is just, I don't know, so it's like an egg shape, only it's, it's even. So maybe like an oval. Maybe, no, it's sort of like an egg shape. I used this. I cut four of them for this. Um, I made it just, I honestly, I think I, oh, I, I think I used the same for the head. I used the same for the hat and this one maybe was a little smaller. Okay. But I'm doing different. I'm, I'm going to, it's going to be similar, but different. All right. We're going to put it together the same way, but my, this one is going to be taller. It's going to be more of a, a taller shape which I like the idea. So the fabric I used for that one was just, I don't know if this is a, it's a, it's a muslin or maybe a real thin duck cloth. That's what I used for that one. For this one, did you hear that sigh from cash? Could you? So this is the fabric that I'm using today. today. It is thicker it's thicker, but I love the look of it. Um, if you can tell it's a little bit variegated. Um, so the shape, I was looking where my shape is. The shape I did was this. So, and you go ahead and cut four of them out. So I just fold the fabric so that there's four layers to it, pin it on, and cut it. If it's too thick for you to cut that way, then do maybe two at a time. But so I've got four of these. All right, there, there's four. Now the first part, putting it together is a little bit tricky of what I'm, but I'm, to me, this is the easiest way to do it. All right, this is, um, I was gonna say dental floss. This is embroidery floss. I'm using a green this time. And I have my needle here. And you need a needle that has a big enough eye that you can fit that through pretty easily. Now I'm also going to put a knot in it and then I'll show you how we're going to put this together to make it a little easier. We've got four panels. So you got the top and the bottom. This, you really don't notice a difference, but I'm going to consider this as the top. So this would be a top also. And the easiest way I found is, okay, because I want the top to the outside. I'm going to fold this one in half. And I'm going to just lay it on here. And I'm going to take this next one. So this will be a top. <laughs> I know I've got it wrong. It's You can't tell. So I know I got it wrong. But you want all the tops to face the outs um, when this opens up. Oh, so this will be the top. When it opens up, you want the tops. Okay, so I folded. This is the easiest way I find to put it together. And then this is the top side of this one. But you would notice a big difference when you're doing it if you have a different, if it's faded out on the inside. Hello, Kathy. And Cash, Cash already went to lay down. He got bored of me. Okay, so I'm going to, so then, so you've got this bottom layer. And then I took the next two of them, I folded in them, them in half. And it's only because it's easier for me to put, to put it together this way. If you want to just, put them together, put two together, pin it, put another one on, pin it. You can certainly do this, but this works really well, actually. So I'm going to take a pin. I'm not going to pin this bottom together, but I want this bottom edge even. I wonder why my computer flashes like that. Hello, Delinda. Hello. Hello, Vicky. 
just, just go ahead and pin this. So you're going to pin it all the way up. So we're going to leave the top open a little bit because we're going to gather that and we're definitely going to leave this bottom open. So we got that one pinned already. Let's pin. I usually like to start at the bottom because then I know I've got a straight edge down here. Let's pin this one on and then we're going to flip it over and pin and then they're all going to be in the, then I think it'll make sense when I, it, it, that's going to be gathered and the top is going to be gathered. So all I'm doing right now is pinning this because I'm going to sew these sides. Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to see how that fold was there. I'm just going to flip it over and pin the same one. Once we get it sewn together, it really doesn't take long, but there is there, this is all hand sewing. You could certainly do it on your sewing machine, but I think this hand sewing makes it look more rustic. So if you don't like the rustic, do it on a sewing machine pad. All right, so you can see that. That's why we got, this is the side we're gonna stuff from, but we're gonna gather the top and the bottom. So I'm just gonna make a knot on the bottom, which I already did. I'm going to sew this as fast as I can. I always start on the in between the two fabrics um, so that that knot is inside and you don't see it. And then I can pull this first pin already. But all I'm going to do is just keep, so I'm probably about a quarter inch in. And I'm going from the back to the front or whatever's easiest for you. And I'm actually pulling it a little bit tight. And you'll see, see that little gathering there? That's what's going to add the cute rustic look. Now, if you don't want the rustic look, you could do it the same way. But when I'm done, I'm not going to turn it inside out. I'm leaving it like this because I love that edge and just pull the pins as you go I said this is going to be the most tedious part is the sewing once I got the sewing done it's not as bad and I cut everything pre-cut everything out that's the main thing I would do Nice. See, so you, you see what I'm doing now? So honestly, how I folded that um, to, to make those like that is just because it was easier for me to place it together. But you can certainly take two at a time, sew it up, do the next one, sew it up. You can certainly do that too. E whatever is easiest for you, you just want to make sure that all four pieces are in. Honestly, you could probably do it with three pieces. It would make a little skinnier snowman, a little bit different shape. Every one could be a little bit different. The other one that I did, it was smaller, almost like an like a egg shape. It wasn't this tall pillar. There you see, I mean, it doesn't take that long to hand sew it. And I'm using, when you use um, embroidery floss, like an embroidery, if you've ever embroidered before or saw somebody embroider, you don't necessarily use all the strings that are in here. I think it's like six ply, but they're thin, thin pieces. Um, some, when you do embroidery, sometimes you separate your string and you might use only like three of the strings or two of the strings. Okay, I'm going to bring this up almost almost to the top but not all the way and then i'm just going to bring this back to the inside just poke it right back through here you're not going to see it but i'm going to bring it back to the inside and then i just hooked the last string that i did put the needle under there this is how i knot it put the needle under there and it creates that loop yet before you pull it all the way through i don't know if you can see that loop and then you can knot, and then when you pull it, it'll knot. So I do that a couple times, and that creates a knot. So I left that loop there yet, and put the needle back through there, and that creates a knot. All right, I'm going to see if I can't pull you a little closer. Maybe you can see a little better then. 
All right, so let's just take this one. I've got enough to do another end. I just make a knot on the end again. All right, see them all the way around. We're going to knot this one off. Now, on the one that I did here, now, again, this is a different shape. On the one that I did here, I honestly just sewed across the top, which I think would be fine, but I, I'm going to gather it. Um, that one worked just fine because you didn't see it, but I just find just doing a running stitch to gather it is fine. So I'm just knotting that off. When I do the running stitch, I always put a knot at the one end just because I don't want it pulling out the other side. You want to gather it. You want to make sure. Okay, so to gather, you're just, I've got that knot. It's going to be on the inside. You're just doing the stitch up and down. A lot of you know this, but some people maybe don't. So I'm going to do this all the way around. So put the needle down through the fabric and up through the fabric, probably about a quarter inch all the way around. And down through it and back up. And do that all the way around and then that's going to create a gathering stitch. Well, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I said, I do love doing the cards that way now. I'm totally hooked on them. All right, so I can pull that needle off. This was that knotted end right here. So don't pull this side out either, but we're just going to tie it in a knot. So we'll just tie it in that and then really pull that tight. All right, and then tie that off. So just tie that in a knot and that gathered the top and then we're going to stuff him. And you can stuff them as full as you want. I'm not stuffing them as full as what I normally stuff things. I think I'm on a kick with that. Same with the, um, I'll put that up here. Same with the pumpkin I did this year. I didn't stuff it as full. I think that's all I'm going to put in it. I, I like, that's, that's the shape I want to go for. I think that's enough. We can always add a little more as I'm gathering it up. Maybe, maybe just a little more. All right, and then I'm going to take another string. Make sure you guys keep commenting. That really helps. Pass me on if you feel you would like to. Not everybody does, and I understand. Not everybody wants to put that on their page. That definitely helps all of us. All right, again, I'm just going to gather gather it. So start with the knot out on the inside so you don't see it. And then, okay. The knot wasn't very big. It actually pulled through. All right. If you just pull it the way it was without doing that first part, you might tear it because there's nothing. I mean, right now it's putting all the pressure on the string and not on the string. Right. Let's get, so I'll show you my pattern for my circle. This is the same circle that um, we're going to use for the note for um the hat all right it's the same size i'm just getting my 
needle already. Oh, thank you, Judy. I hope so. Well, you tell me, Brie, hello. How tall was the shape? Okay, so this was the shape. Okay, if you look at it like this, it might be easier. All right, so that's that's the shape. And I also cut it on paper in half. It, I have it, um, mm -hmm. it's almost 11 inches tall. So almost, it's just short of a size of a piece of paper. And wide it is, this bottom is about five and a half. All right, so for the shape of the plate, I use that. Let me get my fabric back here. And I said, this is really thick fabric. You can see me all my cuts. So this plate, let me tell you, in diameter, it's about 10 inch, it's about 10 inch diameter. So that's about the size of a circle you want. Just gonna lay that on here. 10 inch circle. The same running stitch. I already have a knot in here. We're just gonna run it around about a quarter inch in. Let me pull that off. All right, this is our head. We're going to start stuffing it. Make sure if your string is not long enough that you're watching out for that end so that doesn't come out. I've got a knot on the one end, but not on the other. Stuffing up this head. <clears throat> so the head, I'm having a little more stuffing than I did, a little more solid than what I did on the body you know my finger okay and that's okay that you got a hole like that you won't see it and if you need to add more stuffing that's a perfect spot to do it all right let's just see i think i can still use this side for tying for sewing him on to the other piece Sure, it's a it's gonna be the size you want. All right, and then I'm just going to just hook. Now you could glue it. I really feel that I like so. I'm I'm doing just a stitch on the bottom and a stitch on the top, just to and I'm gonna go all the way around like that. Now I'm doing it on the snowman and I'm gonna do it on the head. All right, that's that's pretty good. All right, let's just knot this off now. Losing my string I'm right at the end. I know you can't see this, but I'm just doing a knot down in there. Just to hold that on. Two. Now I'm hoping the the same size will work for the top of the hat. We're gonna adjust him as we go. But again, about ten inches. Now for this middle of the hat, I'm I'm laying this on here, and I'm just gonna gather up this to see about where I want it. All right, and then I'm going to do a running stitch. So, so I'm just going to start out a little farther. Make a larger circle on this inside than what I had. And you'll see when I gather it what I mean. And you're not going to see this part of it. 
when you put them together. Okay, so you see what I'm doing there? You can buy hats if you want. You can make hats whatever way you want. This is just the way I love a floppy, wonky hat. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, we have YouTube TV, which is different than YouTube. We also have YouTube TV that we watch. All right, now we're going to pull this up and gather this. And you're going to see how that's going to be better. All right, so we're just going to tie this up. That's going to go on there. All right, now we're going to do the top of the hat. Okay, I think I have enough for this. Hopefully. We we'll take this other circle, another 10 inch circle. Like so, it's the size of my plate. And we're doing a running stitch around the outside again. So I'd say a quarter inch to a half inch in. Well, thanks for the hearts and the thumbs up now. <laughs> I said sometimes it's an accident, sometimes it's not. But if it, it, it is, if you don't like something I said or that it's too long, you know there's replay. You know there is. All right, so I'm not putting a lot in this hat because I want to be able to... Look at how cute he's going to be. All right, so I just gathered it and, and tying it. Let's see, how did I do this? I'm just thinking of how I did this. I don't think I'm even going to, um, I'm not going to gather it all the way because I need it to be open a little bit to sew it on. All right, we're just going to stretch that out a little bit. We're going to leave a little bit of an opening. I don't know. It's okay. It's all right. All right, so I'm just going to go up through this hat, get the other part of the hat, and I'm just going to do it right on the top, I think. I'm just going to sew all the way around. If you feel more comfortable putting pins in first, go ahead and do that. But I don't care that you're seeing the screen. It's That'll make it a little cute. And I'm just catching the hat and the brim about a quarter inch i'm about a quarter inch i don't even see the difference um i'm about a quarter inch up on that part of it all right and then i'm going to pull it to the inside and knot it off in here and see this is the inside it's messy you're not going to see it i'm just going to do a knot on here always just you're just making a loop and putting that needle back through that loop. All right, let's oh, string, oh, extra string. So I think I'm done with that. All right, carrot nose. What I'm going to do is fold this across. I might trim it down a little. We'll see. I know I'll trim it down a little. And then I'll make the bottom flat. So it's definitely too big. Let's see. Um, and then I just take a little off the tip of it. All right. So it's a triangle. We're going to have a stuffed nose here too. Okay, I'm going to start at the in the inside again. Um, now, I'm okay, I'm starting on the bottom for a reason. I'm going to get that knot on the inside. 
I'm going to do the same overcast. Is that what we called it? A whip stitch. I'm going to do that same witch whip stitch all the way across. And then I'll show you because we're going to gather this nose a little bit too. So he's going to have a cute little turned up nose. He's going to be a snobby snowman. He's going to have a turned up nose. All the way to the bottom. All right. And then we'll do this bottom like that. Okay. So we've got this. Okay. I'm going to take that needle and I'm just going to bring it in. I'm going to, so it's, it's in between there. It's, it's down below the stitches. I'm not really catching the felt. But it's my easy way of getting that thread back down to the bottom. And look at when you pull. So I'm just taking that needle and getting in between the felt. So you're not seeing the needle on the outsides here. But I do want, like you could drop it in through there, but I want it up closer to the top here. All right. We got that. Okay, and let's just put a little stuffing in. <laughs> All right. So um, I just stuffed a little stuffing in there. Just, I think it's, get it down in further some of it all right and then pull it no, i don't want the nose that far we're going to gather some of this along here let's just knot that off and then I can straighten that nose out. We're going to knot it off and then I'm going to straighten. So then just move those gathers around. So here's the nose. Isn't that cute? And then I'm also going to gather the bottom to tie it off. But, all right, so that's going to be that. The snowman nose is going to be on here like that it's gonna be cute all right let's just make him a little bit um i'm gonna take let let we're gonna make a little tag for him on him and we're gonna add a little bit of ink along these edges i'll wipe, wipe this off after so that's warm wishes the other one i have here is made with love or sending love maybe sending love let's do sending love so I'm not sure which one we'll use. Just cut these out. I'm leaving a little trim. We're going to just add a little bit of um, color on the edges. I'm just rubbing it on this stamp pad. I don't have my blender here. Okay, and then we're also going to take this stamp pad and I'm going to lightly go. See on the edges there? We're just going to darken that up a little bit. It's okay if you get a little on the outside there. That's okay. You can always add more to the outsides. Add to a little bit of the wrinkles. Okay. 
So we just added a little bit of roughing on them. And then I can answer more. All right, I'm just putting a dot on the back because it's hard for me to see where to place this pun hole punch. It's just a tiny skinny hole punch. And we're just going to see which one's going to look the cutest on here. I'll tie that on first. We're almost done here now. All right, I want to see which is the the... I like this side of the snowman the best, all right? So um, this is going to hang down. Oh, I do like that one. This one seems a little big to me, okay? It takes away from the snowman. We're going to do that one. We're going to go ahead and tie that on right away. Just hang a knot in the back. You're not going to see it. Just make sure it's hanging down where you want it to be hanging down. There. Okay, got that. All right, let's put the, I'm gonna put the hat on. Find the cute side of the hat and you want a spot because we we're gonna just glue this on. We're gonna glue that on there like that. So find a cute spot, and I'm just hot gluing this on. Now, I've got the Sure Bonder here, but you don't need that fabric glue. You really don't need it. Pretty hot. Hello, Nana. This Nana's Craft. Do you want to tell me your name? I'm sorry. I'm just looking for the cute side of the hat. All right, and let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and and I'm actually going to have this as the front. Okay, so let's we're going to go ahead and glue this and hopefully we can get it to stay. You certainly could stitch it. Honestly, I think stitching is going to stay better, and then we can add a little glue. Just debating. I'm going to stitch all the way around this nose part. You could probably have seen it better if um, I didn't have the hat glued back on. I'm just going to stitch it. I'm just catching some of the hat or some of the face and I'm catching some of that nose. Just think it's going to hold on there nicer. I had a lot of you stick on with me. I appreciate that. Just cute. The other thing I want to do on him though too on that nose, we're going to do a little bit of this edging on the nose too. Let's see. He's just cute, isn't he? He's so cute. Uh, we're just going to take a little bit of raffia, and then we're going to cut a scarf yet. And I'll show you what you could use for branches for his arms. We have to have a button. Oh, and I'm going to put a little patch on his hat, too, from... So... But of course, yes, of course we have to have a button. All right, so I'm just going to put some of this raffia around here. Um, hat's going to tie over here, or the scarf's going to tie over here. Thank you. Velia, thank you. All right, just. Oh, he's just cute, just cute. So we're going to put raffia, and then we're going to put a scarf yet. I like the look of raffia. Whoa, I tied him pretty tight. See if I, I, I would have cut his head off if I would have just glued it because I tied that pretty tight. All right, let's, um, trim off some of this.
What do you think on the on the um on the buttons? The two that match? I think yeah, I think so too. I think so too. All right, we're gonna do the let's okay. So I have multiple options for the scarf. Do you like do you like this this knit one? All right, so I'm trying to see the best way to cut it. I don't think I can tear this one though. Now I'll cut that end off. Sherry's creative designs, I know, is is hers. Okay, this is just cute. I want to make sure that now this one does have sort of a front and a back to it. I want to make sure that that front works out good. Yeah, I don't think it needs branches. Where's my other one? All right, and I'm going to let this lay here a second. Well, but this this is different than what I normally do. All right, let's put these on and then <coughs> I can't, I keep losing my snowman. <coughs> Excuse me. These are those are just cute. We All right. I'm going to glue all the way around. This outside. Might as well do both right away. All right. Slide this new back there. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Delinda. Thanks, Susan. All right, I'm going to go grab. I love the idea of, um, yeah, turn his foot in. I love the idea of the cheeks. I'm going to just go grab that blush and. All right, we're just adding, oh, that's cute. Good idea. Whoever said that, good idea. Look at him. Moving a little crooked there. There, I think, I think I got everything. Oh, we got to do little pat, little patches on the hat. Then I think we're done. Oh, Scraper cash. Don't take that. No. You want to say hi, Cash, again? You want to say hi? He actually came back at the end. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, he's happy that Daddy's sitting in his chair now. He knows he's not going anywhere without him. Right, we'll just put a couple little patches on the hat. Just put a little patch. See, what side do I want? Okay. 
Let's put a little one down on here, maybe. Yeah, I just think I, yeah, I'll put one down here. Pinky's done. What do you think? Oh. I think he turned out adorable. I love the little raffia, extra little raffia, just to add that little bit. Your little stamp tag just adds a little character. You can make each one look a little different too, just by the by the shapes. Um, so this was the one that I practiced on, and it was a little bit different shape, and it's more white. And so you just make them each a little different. I think this is my favorite, though. So look at even, oh, I should put a little patch on his butt. Let's put a little patch on his butt. Then you can see the front and the back of him, right? What do you think? Or the other thing I could do is stamp. Okay, so on this front, I stamped Sending Love. I could stamp um, same, th same thing on the back. I could do that. Or I have Made with Love. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that little stamp on the back here. We'll do the stamp made with love. Right, let us do that. Okay, I'm trying to think of the easiest way. We're going to put that over on the side. Let's put it. I have a little block here. It's not as dark. If if I would have done it right on a table, we would have saw it. But that's really cute. <laughs> that is cute. Made a little butt made with love. Really cute. 